welcome back today guys to the channel back here as Santa Corsa for something brand new now we're not going to be playing this exactly but I wanted to do a reaction today on a brand new channel that I just found the other day on the YouTube homepage and basically they're restoring old items that you would normally have around the house things like PlayStation 2, Game Boys, uh, they have controllers that they're doing, and I figured it'd be a nice little series just going through these and reacting and seeing into how much junk is actually piled in to these items. Now, mind you though, uh, right, some of these are pretty caked up, but the restoration process is always just satisfying to watch, and I figured just something different today, I have done so many episodes, and I've been really enjoying uh, these YouTube homepage videos, right? So if you guys have been enjoying them as well, let me know your thoughts down below. We're here today actually on the Thrustmaster T818 direct drive wheel, next level racing chassis. What is this guy doing? Oh my goodness, see that guy? And of course our BenQ Mobius gaming monitor. This guy's getting into me. I'm getting out of here for today. And let's go ahead and hop in to our episode of the day right and of course before we start today our giveaway of the day we have another key up for grabs of a set of corsa ultimate edition all you're gonna need to do is comment down below a set of corsa in the comments and uh just a huge thank you for coming around once again now the youtube homepage, of course is always good right i love seeing what's on here especially on an account that's not signed in i don't even have an account hooked up on here and i found this the other day the odd tinkering channel this guy has some really cool well, hold on now shout out to cool kid on there, heck yeah, on the front page, and that dude in blue on the front page, he just uploaded, uh, yeah, this was, oh yeah, and then look at this, shout out Slap Train, look, he just uploaded too, hey, I appreciate it, right, odd tinkering, this guy has 2.6 million subscribers, 136 videos on here, I make restoration videos, now, of course, before we start though today, dad joke of the day, Arrow the Proto Wolf, and he goes, dad joke, what did the convertible say in the garage, I'm all cooped up, right, <laughs> <laughs> Huge thanks for watching. Leave me your dad jokes down below. Let's find some satisfying stuff here for today. Huge thanks for watching. And of course, don't forget to slap that like button. Right now, it's funny. I did have a comment the other day saying, Slap, why do you have a wheel cam out if you're not even playing, right? Figure we drift around a little bit at the start, right? You can't say anything. My wheel cam's still rolling, right? I forgot to shut it off. We're going to watch some of these here for today. These are pretty cool. They caught my attention. I have yet to watch any of these. As someone who loves seeing what is inside things, right without actually doing it myself because nobody enjoys taking things apart and then having to put it all back together nobody likes doing that i feel like right I mean, especially when pieces go everywhere you're missing things it's 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 not a fun process however uh a good old 20 minute video will definitely make that a, a little bit easier for us now we even have a psp junk psp restoration sony psp portable 1000 this kind of caught my attention right away drop this on 4k yeah okay and uh, what I am going to do also, because these are longer episodes, we're going to speed this up on the two speed. And it's just going to be a little bit easier. A little bit dirty. The buttons as well. They're almost yellow. Look at those things. Looks like it's been dropped a couple times, maybe. Screen. I will say, though, the PSPs took a beating. If you guys ever had one growing up, um, they were a lot of fun. I had a couple of them growing up. They were fun. Wait, what? What? Is it making that noise? Circle button doesn't respond very well. Yeah, apparently. Using the disc reader without the game and it sounds good and works. Oh, look at that thing moving. It's got some hairs on it though, I can see. That's actually pretty cool. Here you can hear how much quiet my PSP is with the same game. Jeez, I remember these saying, man. You can go on, right? You can go on the internet. It was basically a portable PlayStation in your pocket. You can watch movies, music videos. Like I got a whole bunch of them. You know what? I. This was the perfect time here. I actually got a box of my old PSP stuff here. Hold on. Pause this here. Pausing it. Okay, what I'm going to do here quickly, because we do have the Thrustmaster T818. Let's just put this off to the side. This is my box of uh, old PSP stuff from when I was a kid here. Let's go ahead and throw this back on because I want to watch this as I'm over. I don't know if you guys want to keep seeing these style episodes. Let me know in the comment section. Why can't I open this? In the comment. Why can't I open that? Jeez, that was taped up hard. In the comment section down below there. Okay, let's see what's in this thing here. And look at this guy. He's going to town on this. I think I found why the circle button was not working. Dust has... Pro oh my gee. How does that even get in there? That's actually disgusting. That that got in there like that. Oh my god, look at the screen. I hope none of my stuff's that dusty. First came out the box though. Twisted metal head on. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's not good. Look at that. We even got the books too and everything. Instruction manuals. Oh, back when the instruction manuals were good. Look at this. What? 
We got full colored pages on here. Like Axel. I remember Axel. Oh my goodness. Agent Shepard. See, it's crazy. Though. I mean, I wonder how much research he has to go through in order to do stuff like this in order to put it back together properly again if you guys have not already subscribed to odd tinkering make sure you guys go ahead and do so his links will be found down below but uh yeah super cool that i it was just kind of random to be honest i didn't i didn't plan this where i was gonna you know open this box and watch a psp video so it was kind of the perfect timing metal slug oh i'm gonna have to boot this up again this was some good stuff here uh, i love that at the arcades one day i will have an arcade metal slug in my home right that'll be super cool up in smoke tour jeez that's an og setup and i even got this there imagine if i had some like gta codes in here still speaking of gta vice city stories oh my goodness what is this Play City Inquirer. Aliens stole my brain. And then how he puts it all back together. Oh, look at that. See that? You just... How do you learn all this stuff? He's taking the full take. Like, I guess he's just going to clean everything here. Yeah, click for more. He's got so many restorations on there. And wow, it's gone. Everything's just gone. Okay. Look at GTA. Vice City Market. In here. We got timeshares. 30-foot sailboat. While we're in here, what is this? I think I... Oh a gi joe case Jeez! oh it's a white one too that's so sick i missed my psps and this is a light one too i forgot how light these were at least this one is this is a this is a 3000 series here turning oh hydrogen peroxide yeah okay that makes sense there yeah this is nice i don't think do i have anything in here in here oh there is something in here we got triple x in here Hopefully took you guys down memory lane with some of that stuff here. There's a bunch of others in here. Is this SmackDown vs. Raw? Oh, what? No way! It's an isopropyl alcohol. Look at- what? It a, that's super cool. Is that his own made one? It's gotta be. Let's put the wheel back on for right now. I like having it up here. I just feel- it's like my comfort wheel. <laughs> just gotta hold it a little bit. It's like my blanket. Hopefully the buttons will work better after cleaning. Yeah, this guy goes to town on this. This is a full-on restoration. I know DK oldies. Right before the whole thing got exposed. That was crazy, that whole thing that ended up happening. Just everybody was going after that there. Yeah, that is brand new. Look at that. It is so nice to see that. The green. It pops now. At the noise. Yeah, this guy, right? Do my console next, please. Oh, look at him. Oh, this guy's good. Okay, so he's going to clean that. The metal is very scratched. I was wondering about that. So sand it with 800 and then 15 grit. Sorry, and then 1500 grit. Oh, damn, it's actually going away. Board back in. Okay, this is where it's going to get probably a little bit trickier, no? Dish tray loader, yeah, or whatever that is. In. Okay, that was actually kind of easy. This guy's doing it. Screws are still there and they look brand new. Like that, right, couldn't be me. These screws would be everywhere, I feel like. One would be rolling around. I'd still be looking for one of them. If you don't like to use this, open these screws because they are very tight in the stir. Just, I need one of those. What is that he just used? It's a motorized screwdriver? Oh, he's got the full HD close-up cam. Like, I wonder what his workstation looks like with all these cameras. He's got some crazy camera setups, and they are good cameras, too. All right, I didn't think I'd be reacting to this today, but he just he just has some good stuff on this. Oh, there it goes. Here we go. Finished product. Let's see what it sounds like. Set the time. Yeah, yeah. It's so much quieter. Wow. Yeah, that'll uh, definitely fix that. What a job well done. This guy must feel so proud of these afterwards. This is crazy. Yeah. yeah, that. Look at that board. I've always wanted something like this where they actually break down the components of a console and they put it into a frame. I love that idea. Let's see what his most popular video is here. Odd Tinkering restored this $2 eBay junk Game Boy Color retro console restoration and repair. Yellow broken PS1 retro Jeez, that's a throwback, and that is very yellow. Why is that so damn yellow, man? None of my consoles ever 
in my lifetime ever got to that point. Okay, let's see what he does with the Game Boy here. In this Game Boy for $2, it was sold to the junk. Really transparent consoles. Batteries have caused a little corrosion. That's definitely not good to see. Hair, like how old is that hair? All of this is some Japanese kids hand sweat. He said. Oh my god. Game Boy launched in 98 and became the third most sold console of all time. Damn. Chances of booting on? Probably slim for $2. And yeah, corrosion's got to it. Makes sense. Isopropyl. Oh, this must be an old video. How old is this video? Because this guy had a full bottle and everything last time? Three years ago. Yeah, that makes sense. 577,000 likes on this. 26 million views? Holy jeez. I have that same kit. I just bought that kit the other day. Oh, that's cool. To open Game Boys, you need a special tri-wing screwdriver. I was curious as to when I'd ever use that kit. You know what? You guys may not believe me here. Hold on. I'm I'm right. I'll be right back. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I am back with that same kit. Look at that. Bang. I told you I had this thing. And look at all these tips in here. I was wondering when I'd ever use something like this. This was the tip that he just had. Try tip or whatever this thing. One screw from inside the battery case is missing. Someone has tried to fix this before. So yeah, I mean, they usually try to, right? Especially when it's not working. As a kid, you'll try to take it apart. You'll get this far and you'll be like, okay, yeah, no, I'm done. And then you'll put it right back. The board doesn't look good. Looks so bad. Says the board doesn't look so bad except the near corroded battery. Hopefully the power switch is just dirty. Common issue with these. Switch it out. Yeah, right there is new tip. I want to take some stuff apart now with my new screwdriver. <laughs> just start buying old consoles off eBay. That's actually not a bad idea to be honest with you. And then take them apart and then make the frames with those. Right? Oh, that's such a good idea. They would be dirty though. You'd have to clean them, right? I don't want no damn dirty console in my frame. <laughs> Someday a seven-year-old's hair stuck in there when he was a kid. Do you remember the game called Operation? Yeah, I do. <laughs> right, imagine it. <laughs> he should have made a little noise over there. Yeah, there was some there were some banger games as a kid, though. Operation, um what else was the other one there? One where the, the like the pieces would fly off the board there. I think it was Frustration, I think it was called. That was a fun one. And this thing is dirty. Don't break it, don't break it. I smoke but alcohol will soften the adhesive. Okay. This guy's smart. Alright, look at that. Alright, pieces pieces spread out. Look at that. Oh, this guy knows little tips and tricks here. There's no power though. How would they know? Power switch is working as it should compared. Okay. Couldn't pinpoint the damage spot, but you can tell the power. Fast forward a little bit here. And we are cleaning again. Yeah, clean it up. This guy's putting new stickers on this thing. I guess you can just print them off, I'm assuming so. Oh, that's so cool. It'd be brand new. Imagine he does the sticker, it's off by just a millimeter, it's crooked. And then you can, what, flip this for what, like a, a couple hundred bucks for sure? Like, what does a, a Game Boy Color go for nowadays on eBay? I'm really curious. Added some new adhesion, yeah. Damn. Now imagine all of this though. You get to this point here, you fix it, you clean it, you put it back together, and it still doesn't work. That would be definitely frustrating. By the looks of this video though, by the timing, I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work. I got faith in you, partner. Even though the batteries don't look the best. So I would I would not use those batteries. I would I would go new batteries, sir. Put in some new batteries. Before final review, I'd like to show you this t-shirt design. Now available on Teespring. Teespring! I remember that. Oh my goodness. The good old days. All right, yeah, from that to this, power, oh, it worked! Let's go! Okay! $2 eBay junk Game Boy Color retro console restoration and repair. This was fun today, just a nice relaxing video. I was really busy today. I didn't really have time to, you know, do, I didn't have time to cook up a banger, if you will. All right, and hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode, uh, taking a look at Odd Tinkering's Restoration YouTube channel. He's got a lot of other videos on here. If you guys would like to see more, let me know in the comment section down below. Slap that like button as well too. And if you guys have any other channels that have other things as well too. But I mean, really though, look at this guy's channel. He has everything that you could imagine.
Oh my god, odd tinkering. Links are found down below. Huge thanks for watching for today. Something different, um, but same, same, right? I mean, this is my very first Game Boy right here. Original. Damn. And I had a caveman game. I don't know what it was. It was a caveman game of something, but it was it was cool though. Old toy! Okay, we gotta watch this one here real quick. Hold on. I mean, obviously, a bunch of people want to see it. Windscreen's broken. Paint is worn. Cracks go all the way down. One might even say well played. Yeah. Corgi Jr.'s Mercedes-Benz 280. Looks good, but dirty. He's got an Instagram, odd tinkering, and Patreon for extra content updates, etc. So I've seen a couple of these people, and I love watching people actually make these custom Hot Wheels. I may try to find a custom Hot Wheels channel next time and have a look at them. Because uh, there's some crazy stuff out there. Oh, they just drill it out. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Look at this little thing. Now, of course, we are on two times speed on these. So if you guys would like to watch these in its entirety yourself... Like I said, links are found down below. And the finished product after a lot of elbow grease. Look at this here. Jeez. We didn't watch this one today. But uh, like I said, there's a lot of others on there. Check them out yourself. Finished product in 3, 2, 1. Wow. That's crazy though that someone could do that. And make it look that good. This guy is a master of trades. And uh, definitely deserves some respect out there. Make sure you guys go ahead, throw him a subscribe. Huge thanks for watching for today. And I'll see you guys back here tomorrow on the channel for maybe for some more Apex Point. Right? Maybe we'll do another build on there. Huge thanks for watching. I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. I'm out. Peace.